Come on, buddy. Oh no. No, I'm Look at that. So guys, this is what it's looking like. As you can does see. Does that smell good? Yeah, it does smell really, really nice. Nice. Congratulations, man. <laughs> It's your girl Mel. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, it's going to be a catch and cook video. Um, I went out to sea, you know, and went looking for some wilks. And I actually caught something else for the very, very first time. So if you're interested in seeing my catch and cook video yes your girl went and prepared it as well and cook it and stuff so if you're interested in seeing that then please stay tuned let's dive right in <laughs> before we are in the sea currently looking for whelks whelks are commonly known as sea snails so there you could see i already found one and the interesting thing is that they're not that easy to find like you have to go up in some crevices and creases of like rocks and reefs and stuff like that to find them but that was the first first one i found and i was super happy guys but in this video, I'll show you a bit of what I went through to try and find them. So here you can see like I'm literally up on the rocks looking for them. I just spotted one right there. And as you can see as well, they are very, very well camouflaged. So they, on the outside, they look like the rocks that they're stuck onto. So if you don't have an eye for them, then they could actually be quite hard to spot so you really really have to look out because as you can see it's like literally the same as the rocks and we have another one this is a good size one put it in the bag <laughs> i'm too far from you uh, Oh yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy falling over. And there's one more. I'm going to try and get him. So one thing I also noticed is once I spotted one, there was more than likely always going to be a second one close by. And this is a perfect example of how far up under these rocks they actually go and hide. 
and here you just see me struggling trying to get them <laughs> so i literally had to like push my hand up into a hole i don't know what else is lingering close by around but hey this is the second one big lot of people look <laughs> I'm going to see if there's another one, but they're like up in some creases. Yeah, yeah. Like I have to stretch my hand up in some far, far creases. <laughs> Let me put the in your bad foot so they don't drop out. <laughs> so here i spotted another big one this one was actually like more in the sand so he was easier to spot but this one right here was giving me a run for my money like you see me trying to pull him up and he was holding on so well like i just couldn't get him up at all like it was so so hard like you actually see me trying i also had to switch hands because my left hand was just not doing it and now finally i got it done with my right hand luckily but there you could see he was holding on proper and this is just another thing that i wanted to show you guys that in a lot of those creases and crevices where they would be at there are a lot of sea urchins as well so you would have to definitely be careful of, you know, how you're stepping and where you're putting your hand and stuff like that. And this is just to show you a bit of where we actually were. So you could see it was nice and calm around. And yeah, you just see me up in those rocks. <laughs> At this point, I wanted to get closer. So I eventually even had to take off my fins and opted to go barefoot which was quite risky because a lot of those rocks are very sharp and as i mentioned there are a lot of sea urchins and stuff around so you definitely would have to be careful it would be better if you would have on like you know some water shoes or stuff like that but i at the moment didn't have any you know close by so i just had to you know do it barefooted but luckily all went well, I didn't hurt myself. We saw quite a few schools of fishes as well and stuff like that. So it was overall just a nice experience. So of course, now without the fins, I could get up in there. Like you see me all up in those rocks. Like I was getting up in there, trust me. Like I was doing everything I could and see, I found another one. So we got another one, people. Listen, when I tell you they're hiding, they are hiding. Uh, both to compare to them, they are easy to find. Them, yeah? You have to put your hand in some crevices that way you're not even going there. <laughs> Ready?
you saw, your girl did well and also got a lobster. And this was enough for me for the day. Like, we got around eight or nine wilks and then one lobster. So, I was just heading back in at this point, and then we are getting ready to start the preparation and cooking of these sea snails. So, we're on our way back to the house. Oh boy. And we're going to try and trick David into thinking that we didn't get anything. So, let's see. Hello. Hi, pretty bird. Oh, boy. Let me see you got something. No. Oh, Lord. I'm being baby. Baby is sitting there. Come. We see. Show everybody say you have been. Tell me some partner nasty. Show them. That's right. Oh. Show me. <laughs> Bear, um, baby looks. We see. Put money over there. Like the small like one. Them. The small one, them. So, I right, did not tell him. You tell me one specific size. I said, no smaller than. How big were the ones you saw? They were like tiny, like. Like so. Can I really that one? Could I name them there? Could I name them there? Yeah. Oh, you're saying you don't want anything smaller no, than like this? Like Buso. They can really sit there when we see them not eating a pork, right? Oh. Well, so you go. Ah! We're going to have to figure out something else. Bombard, one day, one day, one day. Millie, you're proud of her, you know, I swear I'm Yeah, you're proud of sitting else in there too. This is lobster, yeah. Okay. Jesus. I got a lobster. <laughs> what me? I almost would have two, but the next you know? one. I'm <laughs> proud of him, you know, I tell you. Mommy, mommy, tie it up tight. Mom, lose a Portland nut after that. <laughs> Portland nut, that. <laughs> Guys, me proud of Mel. Yes. Mel brought back dinner. We don't need to eat KFC. <laughs> oh boy. You, you never have no faith in me, don't Of course I had faith in you. But boy, when we do it, I couldn't wait on it because one thing in the my mind. The food? The lasagna. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Some nice size ones. Yes, mom. You see them on them bigger nice man. Our nice lobster. Mm -hmm. All right. I tried. You did a very good job. Hey, but some place where me did have to go up in you know? there. Because I even had to take off the fins. Give mommy the fins them car. I never did a work. Then I did a barefoot. And just I tried go in at some crevices and have to make sure it's not going to juke me. Eh? Uh, they weren't nowhere out on the front. All of them, they were on their back. You have to climb through all the rock they must Yeah. So that makes a challenge. Uh huh. So that's challenge. Challenge is what? Challenge A has been completed. Yes. Challenge B, you know, is to what? Prepare. Prepare. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys. So we got some. I got my first lobster. First, first ever lobster me catch by myself. And who, a who, a who, a who, a who. All right, guys, you saw it on Mix Mel Beauty's channel. Said Lock and Load has taught Mel the first oh, time yeah. to do what? Spear fish, right? Yes. Well, Hawaiian sling. Yes. You don't really use spear guns. I think that's <laughs> cheating. I need to get one for myself. That can be a red. Charlie, see that she's not feeling on mine. Charlie, you're wet, eh? Watch there, yes. So, you can kind of see um, my face has the the um, glass, the snorkeling print on it still. But we made it. We made it, we made it. So, um, yeah. we're going to prepare it in a little while. Alright guys. I 
that light right there so far. All right. I'm gonna go on my piano, no, I'm gonna feel like it. So we're we'll going to get the wilks out of the water there right there in that yellow bag guys. Now I freeze, I don't want to care about it. The one right there. Thanks. Alright, Millie. So just drop them in there? Mm -hmm. Take your time, don't hurt yourself, please. Yep. See the size of some of them? Yep. So what's that white stuff coming out? Just some good stuff. Hmm? Just some good stuff. Good stuff? Mm -hmm. And then what we don't have to do is think we're going to do slow. 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 Last but not least, my little lobster that I caught. <laughs> Proud moment. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> cover it up. Yes. <laughs> so, 
David just showed me how to do it, so I'm going to try and see. But basically, this is what you would have. Snail people, snail. <laughs> Not snails. It's snails. They're willets. They're what sea snails. Willets. So do you hold it like this, or? Yeah, yeah and just drive out. Take your time and pull them out. So all of this is this have to come out. So, so you come from right. to try and show you close up I have him in my button just a bit stubborn there come on buddy oh no oh see that can happen sometimes people yeah we're just grab everything. That's good. Make that drop off. That and Africa, that's what we want. Yeah. Is there something special about cooking your own food every time? Mm -hmm. Is it something really nice? Looking about something that you, you cut yourself? Yeah. Huh? You caught this, you know. I know you're preparing it. Okay? Yep. You know how you take out that when it's alive though, right? Hmm? You burn soft piece. Eh? This is a chicken lobster too, you know, that's a good vibe. Say bye bye. Mm. Mm. Oh, look at the rainbow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> look, there are two rainbows, guys. One there, so, and the other one there, so. Don't you feel ten times different when you actually go and you hunt your food, you bring it back and you're preparing it. Not many girls do this. Yet. This is history in the making, okay? In Jamaica, I've never seen a girl do this here. So now we're going to. It's not no roughneck looking one, you know. <laughs> 
Right, so that's good. So we'll scrape it back into that thing. Yeah. So we're just gonna do this. Like that. Okay. So we're gonna go like this now. Veggies now. Make sure you get some of the veggies at the bottom, like the garlic and yeah. Everything there. Can you use the rest or something else? Okay, that's good. Okay. Then now, I'm gonna bring it up lightly. Alright. Then we're going to put it down. Down. We're gonna pour this stuff part here. And then now, you lock that in. We're gonna lock this in like this. Put it down. Lock the two in. You find this part right here, Millie. Now pull that in. Take your time. Let's fold it. When you reach to the top, don't press it. You don't want to burst the fire up here, so, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So now just rest it on the grill. Yep. Right in the middle of the grill. This way or that way? That way. This way. Yeah. Right here. Perfect. How long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay. <laughs> That hot. Look at that. So guys, this is what it's looking like. As you can does see. Does that smell good? Yeah, it does smell really, really nice. Oops. Yeah. Well, we're going to taste it, all right? Where are mom's there? Shagwan, man. Even though I don't eat veggies, I'm just picking out the, the um, the wilkes and the lobster right now, but it's good. It's really, really nice. Some lobster. My first catch and cook, guys. <laughs> That's right. Yes. So, we're gonna make mommy taste it, alright? Mommy trying to try it, guys. Let's see what she did. <laughs> Can I eat it? Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Oh 
congratulations, man. <laughs> Thank you. And I get a piece of lobster. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like it. But the way it cooked too, wonderful. Really nice. Yes. Aromatic. It has like all the flavors mm -hmm. coming in together good. I love that. So guys, this was it for lobster. Her first self caught lobster. <laughs> and her first <laughs> Self, how, how you say picked or <laughs> found or whatever works yes so guys this is pretty much it for the video thank you guys so, so much for watching yes charlie <laughs> taking away mom that was some work thank you guys so so much for watching please remember to like share and subscribe i want to check out lock and load offshore adventure see you in my next video guys Bye. Bye.